Hey guys, welcome to Brian's Man Cave, episode 55. So I'm going to be doing a few more games uh, in some of my episodes on the Commodore 64. And I've been going through my disc case, but I have quite a few. Um, and I want to find some of the more interesting games. But uh, I guess right now I'm starting off with some of the more popular ones, uh, just to kind of get them out of the way. So um, the other one I thought, you know, Impossible Mission was my first one. Um, why not Space Taxi? which this was my original disc again. Um, this time I actually tested it at first to make sure it worked. Um, you know, I, I booted it up, it worked. Um, but yeah, I used to play this a lot as well. So uh, it, it's, a, it's a simple game, but uh, there's a lot to it. There's a lot going on. And um, I haven't played it in a while, so uh, this is going to be fun. And um, I'm probably going to be really crappy at it because, you know, you, you kind of lose these, these things after you haven't played them in years. Uh, but it, it was always a great game. I kind of always liked it, and uh, I don't know if it's ever been on any other system. I've, I've never seen it on any other system, and I've seen a few videos on YouTube. I've seen a couple people have posted stuff on it, so I, I guess it was quite a, quite a, a popular title for the Commodore 64. You know, I was I, I was considering doing Ghostbusters, um, but you know, I might save that one for later if I decide to do it at all. Anyways, let's do some Space Taxi. Okay, so now we have Space Taxi. Um, this game I did play quite a bit. It was another one of those games that had talking in it, so kind of gave it that extra cool factor. Um, everything's controlled by... So, uh, select a number of cabbies. One, two, three, or four. Uh, I don't know. Uh, one. And uh, then it actually gives you these little, this little um, menu of sorts. Do you want to do the morning shift, which is beginner, the day shift, which is intermediate, and then the night shift, which is expert. And then they have this standard 24-hour shift, which is pretty much all of them. And then there's the randomizer. So it's kind of cool. Like, you could play, like, either different skill levels or play everything all together or just if you just want to throw random at it. Just for uh, demo purposes, though, let's play beginner. And, of course... I have to wait for it to load now that I've selected it. Uh, again, you know, it's Commodore 64. There's the uh, disk drive involved. <laughs> yeah, so essentially I'm a space taxi. And the object of this game is to pick up your passengers. And that's pretty much it. I mean, you have to watch things like your gas. You have to pay attention to which pad they're on. Like, this is the first level, so this is the easiest. So there's only one pad. Uh, but as you progress, you get more pads, and um, you have to get all of them before the door opens and you're able to leave. That's the other thing, too. They have all these, like, kooky backgrounds like the beach. Now, the speech, you can, you can make it out, but... Um, at the bottom of the screen, right in the middle there, they do kind of uh, put that, kind of like a closed caption, um, just in case you don't understand what they said, or you missed it, and uh, then you kind of like, which pad do I go to again? But if you land on the wrong pad, he'll repeat himself. Okay, so I'm going to go to pad three. And... Um, this game is, is kind of like an uh, obstacle course in a sense where you can't touch anything but the pads themselves. So if you touch anything else, if I touch that uh, drink down there, if I touch the sun up there, it'll kill me. Controlling, it's, it's pretty good. I mean, it's pretty fluent. There's nothing confusing. You push right for right, left for left, and up and down. Uh, trying to navigate through these little things can be tricky sometimes. You gotta have really steady grip on this controller. Um, much like my other video where I did a uh, impossible mission, I'm using the Atari 2600 controller. Just because that's the one I'm kind of used to. And when you're landing, you gotta bring out your landing pads, but you can't bring it out too early or else you'll crash. And if you... Or too fast, because you'll just crumble into the ground. 
And of course, if you crash with the guy in there, let's see. Oh. And of course, you're a taxi, so every delivery makes you money. And it, it's based on your time, so it's, it's kind of like the faster you can deliver the guy, the more money you make. Kind of like the opposite of a, a, how a real taxi would work. Sometimes I like to guess which pad they're going to show up at. Another interesting thing is if you keep your taxi in one spot, it's possible that the uh, the guy could materialize right in your cab and die right away. Because if you hit them with your taxi before you pick them up, they die. Like this. You just like disintegrated to my uh, cab hitting him. Kind of fun. Up, please. We. Now the other thing is, that each level you have to wait for this little bit of load time. Not too bad. I mean, it's not not that long. And then you get crazy levels like this. Um, there you have a fuel pad. You'll notice there's a, on the right hand side there, there's an F pad with a little fuel tank. Because this level's so big, there's so many pads in it, you'll eventually run out of fuel if you're not fast. Uh, three. Three's up here. And of course, the more you use your jets, the more fuel you use, so try and let the car just coast itself without using much gas and you, you should be okay. Like I'm just using gravity at this point. Uh, but there is that momentum. The moment you uh, let the car go, it will quickly speed up towards the ground, so you got to be careful. The physics in this game are kind of interesting. I mean, for a game where your, your whole objective is to just pick up people and take them places, there's nothing else really to do in this game. Uh, I think I need some gas. Let's get some gas. And that costs money, I believe. So let's get some gas. Ah! Oh, I landed too hard. But with my death, I get a full tank of gas. Okay, let's go to five and see if he still wants to go to nine. Sometimes he changes his mind. Like that. Ah, oh, I did it again. Okay. Ah, oh, I'm just not landing properly. Sometimes this game kind of reminds me of another game called Jupiter Lander. Kind of an old classic game that you found on a lot of these old computers. Oh, I almost touched the edge there. Can't do that. <laughs> Just gotta time it right, that's all. Problem is, there's so little space up here. There we go. Alright, let's do it. I believe you have to do at least a delivery to every single pad. Until he says up. And then we're moving on up. I believe there's 24 different levels, which makes sense when they have that 24 hour, 12 hour time. 
Oh, beanstalk. This one, the pads grow with the beanstalk, which is kind of unique, too. And if you're really good at it, you can race yourself to the one and then end it before any other pads begin. But I didn't do it. <laughs> and it's game over. Yeah, so as you can see, um, I didn't do too well. I, I made it to like, well, what, level four or five. Um, kind of fair. I haven't played it in a while. And, and I just kind of went through it uh, pretty quick just to show you some levels as well. Uh, I, I probably would have spent more time on this uh, game when I was a kid and played it a lot more often uh, than now. But, you know... Overall, it still it still holds up as a, a pretty interesting game. It's kind of entertaining. You never know where that guy's going to appear. Um, the concept of it is it's very simple. Just you're driving a taxi, you're picking up people, you're making money, you're you're getting gas. It's a very simple concept, and it's a cool game. It would be something I'd love to see if they could actually interpret that into some of the newer systems. But um, they just don't make games like that anymore, right? They, it's all now about the flashy graphics and the the three dimensions and um, whatever else is going on in the, the modern gaming world. But uh, this game would be great as a, I don't know, it could be a handheld, it could be, I don't know, who knows. I, I just think that uh, games like this are very inspiring and uh, they should look more towards the classics and the retros uh, to see what, what actually made a fun, compelling game. And you could play this game for a long time because there's a lot of levels, there's a lot of difficulties, um, I know there's a, there's a level that was much like the skyscraper level I was on, but what they did was they turned the background kind of red and they reversed all the controls. So it makes it really tricky to play it because up is down, down is up, right is left, left is right. And if you, you can't get that, like your brain is just wired to not do that. Um, I've even tried tricks where I turn the controller around and try and play it with the controller background, but, but backwards, but it doesn't work. It just... Um, it, it kind of helps, but it's still, your brain just doesn't, I don't know. But that's just, you know, innovative and, and what they tried to do to make the levels more appealing is they couldn't just have like this, you know, the standard, like the first level, they had to, to jazz it up a bit. Um, there's also another one where there's little warp things and it's like a puzzle. So you have to like warp from piece to piece to piece before you find the right, uh, you know, launch pad. Uh, things like that, and I think that um, the, the Commodore had, was very good at having these interesting, captivating games. Sure, the graphics weren't 100%, but I mean, at that time, they were pretty impressive. Like, if you compared it to anything else, you you were comparing it to, like, the Atari or, or to the Intellivision or to the Coleco. I mean, the graphics were a, a heck of a lot better. So, I mean, for, for them to be able to focus on making these fun, engaging games... It was a really good step, and, um, you know, I had a lot of fun with them. Anyways, uh, hope you liked the video. Let me know if you've heard of this, or if you've played it before, or what you think of it, or if you liked it, um, what your thoughts on the game are, and uh, just uh, whatever you got in mind. Anyways, hope you liked the video. Hope you subscribe. Talk to you later.